Hello and welcome to the gate series. Today we are talking about gate 16. Gate 16 is off of the throat center in the human design body graph where the arrow is pointing and there is a circle around the number 16. Gate 16 is the gate of skills. It is in the channel of the 1648. So the other part of the 16 is the gate 48. The 1648 runs from the throat to the spleen or the spleen to the throat. It goes both ways. So this channel is the, the wavelength, a design of talent. The gate 16 is also known as the 16th gene key, which is called magical genius. Gate 16 is also the 16th hexagram in the Chinese I Ching, which is called enthusiasm. This gate is about the capacity to unleash creative energy via the arts, really of creative ex any creative expression. This energy has an electric quality and can be deeply inspirational. Gate 16 is the gate of skills because it is in the understanding circuit and the understanding circuitry uses patterns and these skills of the gate 16 are here to be perfected through repetition and exploration. So let's look at the shadow expression of gate 16. Shadow is indifference. So there's a quote from Ellie Weissel, which says, the opposite of love is not hate. It is indifference. I found this also placed in the Gene Keys book. Um, and another place I have heard this similar sentiment is the song by the Lumineers. Um, I can't remember which song right now, but it, they, it says the opposite of love is indifference. Most simply, simply put, indifference is the, ta is the <laughs> taste, <laughs> the state of being when we are staying inside of our comfort zone and it is not it is when we're not doing what we love and what, what we are really meant to be doing in the world because we are allowing you guessed it fear to control us one way to understand this experience is with another really great thing i came across from the comedian kyle cease he says the mind can measure only what it perceives it may lose it cannot see what it may gain. I love that quote because oftentimes when we're contemplating taking a leap, making a big change, we can, you know, go into a fear spiral of like, what if this happens? What if that happens? But we can't like fully know what we're going to gain. We can see what we're going to lose clearly, right? Because we, we can gauge that, we can measure that. When locked into the shadow of indifference, we cannot possibly see outside of our mental construct and that keeps us small and limited. So the repressive expression of the shadow of the gate 16 is called gullible. So remember the repressive expression of the shadow is fear-based while the reactive is anger-based. So the repressive expression at this level, people feel powerless and at the mercy of larger things, which they scapegoat instead of taking personal responsibility for their lives. It's a sort of a turning the other way mentality or blaming the system. In the reactive expression of the shadow aspect of the gate 16, we become self deluded. So mental entrapment that comes from two rigid structures and technique. So this can manifest as being convinced by your own mind and beneath it is rage because at its core, it is self delusion. This could also look like maybe feeling very stuck in the pattern of maybe something that you're trying to learn because this is the gate of skills. Just kind of feeling stagnant or stuck like not able to make progress. So let's look at the gift of gate 16. The gift 
And remember, because this is rooted in enthusiasm, like the core of this gift is enthusiasm and expression through art, namely music, dance, performance, um, any kind of creative self-expression. The 16th gift is versatility. The 16 uses its skills as a way to reach a higher state that is of great service to humanity. And there is enthusiasm that oozes out of the person in the 16th gift because they have finally broken through their indifference and are embodied in their purpose work. This is an energy of efficiency and genius. The 16th key or gate is part of the ring of prosperity. And when it is activated and expressed in its gift state, it is the way that genius begins working together with other genius. So it is a collective or a collaborative effort in its highest expression. The example Richard Rudd gives of the gate of skills in the shadow versus the gift frequency was really helpful. He says, the 16th gift encompasses learning and acquiring techniques and skills, but true versatility occurs when you transcend technique. Whilst at the shadow frequency, your skills actually trap you. Here, at the gift frequency, they become a ladder into the true self. At the shadow level, the focus is on the skill or the technique itself, where he is here at the gift level skill serves only one purpose to act as a bridge to a higher state of consciousness. <laughs>